Okay, here we go. 60 plus Flatland at the World Championships. Yeah, our rider here is doing a nice job to begin with. He looks very professional. All skywayed out. Going into his swivel, nice and smooth there. One hand and then back on the pedals, looking good. Sliding on backwards. He hasn't touched down as yet. Switzerland squeaker time, one foot in it, one foot on the front peg. A lot of brake work being done there. Touchdown. Back on the pedals. He's not riding around a whole lot, meaning that he is tying his tricks together. A little speed there. And spinning. I think sometimes when he goes too fast, you have a tendency to touch down. He did very well. Wheel hops. You'll notice, Andy, too, we have a lot of boomerang-type movements, a lot of uh, spinning around the uh, the handlebars. That's right. It's great to watch. One thing I've also noticed is that the hopping tricks, like the, the, the front hop, back hop, that kind of stuff, uh, has really gone out the window now. I mean, nobody seems to really to get agree. Too You'll still see, similar to this, it'll be used in conjunction with uh, some other trick as a sure. setup or something like that. Certainly haven't seen too much, but that was a 30-second buzzer. This is the 16-plus Flatland, only on the ground. Nothing on the ramps, the ramps are coming up. Back and around, yeah, back on those pedals. He has a few touchdowns. He's, uh, the judges, I'm sure, are gonna be impressed by his smoothness. His flow is right there. One trick after another. Nice movement, yeah. And back down. Okay, that was timeout for Jason Davis, another English rider.